Hello, Julie here and welcome to my YouTube channel. About a month ago I did a video where I showed you how I coloured some curtain fabric um, to, and I also used that same curtain fabric to create a piece of pattern paper. Well today I'm going to use that curtain fabric to create three cards. I'll put a link in the description box below to the video that shows how I coloured the fabric. The papers I'm using for these cards come from a six and a half inch paper pad from Kayser Craft called Secret Garden. I didn't really have a plan when I started making these cards so I pulled out a, an assortment of things that I thought I might use. I've got some vellum and the lace of course. I've got some plain white lace, the actual paper that I created. I also pulled out another Kayser Craft paper pad but I decided to stick with the secret garden. The card bases I'm using are purchased card bases in a satin pale pink. For the first card I decided to cover the whole front of the card with the lace. To do that I used Mod Podge in satin finish coated all over using a brush and then attached my lace on top of that and then put something heavy on top of it to keep it in place while the glue dried. The card bases are 5 and 7 8 inches square so while I was waiting for that glue to dry I cut a piece of pearlised cardstock that was 4 inches by 5 and 7 8 I also cut one piece or two pieces of pink check one inch wide and two pieces of grey one inch wide. The floral I'm not going to cut just yet but I do end up cutting a piece of that that is two and a quarter inches wide. All of these of course are the five and seven eighth inches. Now that my glue is dry and um, stuck firmly to the front of my card I'm going to use my long bladed scissors to trim around the edge of the card base. I ink around the edges of each of those pattern papers including the gold and then use double sided tape to attach all of the pattern papers to the gold um, to create my um, panel for the front of the card. Once I've done that I then use my liquid glue to attach that panel to the front of my card. I'm using liquid glue because I want it to stick to the lace and I find that double sided tape doesn't always stick all that well when you've got a lot of texture under it. I'm going to use my Couture Creations CO724161 flower die to create my focal point. I'm going to cut enough to make two flowers from a very pale pink vellum. To create each flower I'm going to layer the four sizes going from largest up to the smallest with just a very tiny dot of liquid glue in the center which I will be able to cover up so that you can't see the glue when I've finished making the flower. I'm going, As I said I'm going to make two of these. Once I've got my flower assembled, I use my flower shaping tool to just press down in the middle of the flower to give it a little bit of shape. When I laid those flowers on the front of the card, they got lost and I wasn't happy with it at all. I decided to make some white flowers that would stand out and so I used exactly the same dye, exactly the same technique, white cardstock and I inked around the edge of each of those layers with a gold ink pad before I attached the flower layers together. Then I attached them to my centre panel to the left hand edge so that they were slightly offset. I used my liquid glue to attach them to the paper. I added some Nouveau glitter drops in white blizzard to the centre of each of the flowers and then set those aside to dry. I used a halo die to die cut four pieces in white cardstock and one in gold. I layered all of the white ones on top of each other 
using liquid glue and then the gold on top of that to make my sentiment. It just gives it a bit of firmness and it raises it up from the top of the card. The sentiment was then attached to the middle of the floral paper and that completed this card. For the second card I decided to use the vellum flowers that I made for the first card and so once again I'm using the same paper range. I chose three papers and I cut one down to five and a half inches square, one five and a quarter inches square and one five inches square. I'm going to use the plain uncoloured curtain lace for this card, so the white. I've cut a piece of white cardstock five and a half inches by three inches. I'm going to use the Mod Podge once again and attach that white lace to the white cardstock. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I have inked around the edge of my three pattern papers and I'm going to attach them to my card front using double sided tape. When the glue was dry on my lace, I used my long bladed scissors to trim the lace down to the same size as the white cardstock and then I used my liquid glue to attach that to my card front. I attached it roughly in the middle of the panel. I wanted a panel to go through the middle of the lace so I cut a piece of the burgundy one inch wide and two strips of gold half inch wide. I then um, attached the gold to the edges of the burgundy and attached those with some glue. Next I added some chipboard to the back of that panel so that when I attach it to the card front it stands up a little from the card. Off camera I made another one of those pink vellum flowers and I'm going to attach the three flowers across the front of the card in the middle of that burgundy strip. To cover the glue in the centre of the flowers and to add a little bit of sparkle to the card I'm going to add some gold pops of colour to the centres of each of those flowers. The sentiment for this card comes from the Woodware Word Fragments stamp. I've used my Versamark ink and gold superfine embossing powder to stamp and heat emboss this greeting which says it's your day. I am now inking around the edge of that and then matting it on some of the same gold cardstock that I used on that strip through the centre. On to card number three now for this set. This is the simplest of the three cards. I dug out some gold pattern paper from my stash. I've had this for many years so I don't think it would probably even still be available. I'll have a look and see if I can find something similar. Um, I cut that down to five and five eight inches square. Then I cut a piece of white cardstock four and seven eighth inches square. I actually cut the white cardstock bigger than that but when I put it through this um, embossing folder which is I think it's a Sizzix one it doesn't have a brand on it uh, but it prints like a rose um, embosses like a rose or it could be Kayser Craft not sure anyway it didn't it wasn't big enough to do the whole piece that I had cut so that's when I trimmed it down to four and seven eighths so that um, I got the whole thing embossed. I'm going to use the coloured lace to create my focal point. So I'm going to make a flower. It's going to be a simple flower. All I'm going to do is cut circles. So I'm going to cut three, no, four circles in decreasing sizes. I started off with just three layers, but when I actually went to put it on the front of the card, it looked too small. So I cut another larger circle and may increase the size of my flower that way. You can see here that with just the layers of lace that got lost you couldn't really see what it was so 
I found the, or I dug up the pink vellum that I'd used previously and I cut circles out of that that are the same size as the circles of lace and I'm going to put a, circle, a layer of vellum between each one of those lace layers to try and help each layer stand out on its own. To also help each layer stand out from the one above it, I've inked around the edge of the vellum with a black ink cube. I'm going to now attach the lace to the vellum using wet glue. I use art glitter glue for my wet glue because I find that when it dries it is virtually invisible, you can't see it at all. So very handy, it dries completely matte, there's no gloss to it and uh, I, I love using it for that reason. You can see at this stage I've still only got the three layers to my flower. Now I'm going to ink the edges of my pattern paper and my white cardstock. You can see here that I've added my fourth circle to my flower and I'm going to use my liquid glue to attach each layer on top of the other to create my flower. I added some three gold rimmed pearls to the centre of the flower this is another thing I changed my mind on before I finished the card. I used double sided tape to attach my papers to the front of the card base and then liquid glue to attach my flower on top of the papers. My sentiment for this card was cut using uniquely creative brush script sentiments. And from black cardstock and I've attached that to the front of the card using glue. To further embellish the card I have these um, skeletal, I guess you'd call them, um, leaves in my stash. They're sort of made of a fine mesh. I've cut one of those in halves and attached that um, underneath the flower. This is where I changed my mind on the centre of the flowers and I replaced the pearls with three black gems. So that is all of my cards for today. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you're not already a subscriber, I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you hit the bell next to the subscribe button, you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you for being here with me today and I hope you can join me for my next video.